Thanks a lot, Chris. We're here with Steve Shaw, the coordinator of football officials for the SEC. Steve, there's always change, and people love talking about it. Replay, a hot-button issue. What have you done to change it? So the biggest change, there's an experimental rule this year to allow collaborative replay in a central site. And so what we've done, uh, we've built out our video center. We're going to have three replay officials in the video center here in Birmingham, live feeds and, and communication connecting to the replay officials in stadium. And if we have a stop in a game, they're going to collaborate with the, the in-stadium replay official. And, and the goal there is really, uh, it's not perfection. Perfection is very difficult to define. but. Um, we want consistency, you know, uh, an overturn that we have early in the morning needs to be the same overturn we have in an evening game and, and from September to November. And, and then also we want to avoid any incorrect outcomes. But it's not going to be perfection because there's always disagreements on a call. There's never perfection, but did you seek NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball feedback and what did you get? Well, we did actually, and I appreciate the NFL. We uh, met with them last December and then they actually invited us in uh, to kind of watch their okay. center uh, during a football Sunday for them. And so we got a lot of ideas and thoughts. Uh, we, we've tailored it toward that direction. We've made some changes that fit our game, we think. Uh, but we're excited about it uh, for this season. Targeting was a hot button in the SEC championship game. You remember uh, with Alabama and Georgia, actually, ironically. What about that in the new rules changes? Yes, yeah, so now the, there's broadened authority for the replay official. So now uh, in an egregious instance, they can actually create a targeting foul from the booth. And we looked through all of last year. We really saw about two plays that we think that would have happened. So this is not going to be a common occurrence, but it's a great safeguard uh, because the targeting is such an important issue in our game today. We're changing player behavior. And the other thing from the replay booth um, around targeting is now they can look at all aspects of the play. You know, before they could only look at, you know, the head contact, but right. now is the player defenseless? What was the actions of the defender? Was there a launch? Was there not? So I think that's going to make them much better in dealing with targeting situations. Finally, what's the biggest misconception about targeting uh, that fans misunderstand? Well, so part of it is the, the reason for the rule is not to disqualify players, but it's really to change player behavior. And I think we have made great strides with that. I mean, now, you know, even though they're still targeting fouls, you don't see the big missile hits, the guy coming over the middle and the, the free safety just wants to lay him out. I mean, now they're thinking those, those type hits through. They're lowering their target. They're keeping their head up. Sometimes they're avoiding those hits altogether. And that's just good for the player safety, good for our game. So I think that's what we're trying to do, player safety. Man, everybody loves talking to the officials. We get a chance every year here at SEC Media Days. Back to you guys.